Hi guys, this is my beef rendang and this is a delicious and rich dish. Now if you are interested, just stay tuned and watch the simple steps. Here are my ingredients in making our rendang paste. Now for the complete list of ingredients, kindly refer to our description box below. Cooking beef rendang is not that easy. It is a time consuming and it requires a lot of your patience. There are so many things to prepare. So this is a kind of dish that it involves everything. This is herby and spicy dish. So there are so many ingredients that you need to prepare. And this involves pounding and grinding to make our rendang paste. So what I'm going to do is I need to slice each of these ingredients here, herbs and spices, into thin slices. Then using my porter and mortar and pestle, I need to pound this until it become a nice paste as the base for this um, dish. My mortar here is quite small, so I need to do this into two batches. The first batch, I combine those hard stuff like the galanggal, the lemon crust, the turmeric, and the ginger. So that's why I have this kind of yellow paste when it's done. And now for the second batch of our ingredients, I have to combine the garlic, the onion, the shallots, the kaffir lime leaves, the fresh chili peppers, which is de-seeded, and our dried chilies, which I soak into hot water for a few minutes until it is softened. So this will give a red paste at the end. So now we have a beautiful and aromatic paste which is the base for our beef rendang. So I'm going to add in my yellow paste into the mortar and season this with two teaspoons of salt. And then let's give or pound it again for a few seconds in order to incorporate and mix well together the spiciness and the herbiness of this paste. Then let's transfer this into a dish so we can start cooking our rendang. This is kerosene, guys, and this is a toasted coconut. It has a nutty caramelized flavor, and this is the secret to a delicious, tasty beef rendang. Then I have a juice from the tamarind paste, and this will give additional flavor like sweetness and sourness to the dish. Of course, the star of our cooking show is the beef itself. So I have 1.2 kg of beef chunks. These are candle nuts I'm going to make into paste and this will give our dish a thick and creamier texture. This is palm sugar. I need to cut down into small pieces and it has a nice aroma and caramel like flavor this will cut down the acidity as well as it balances the entire taste of our dish when it is cooked now that everything has been prepared let's do the cooking using my cast iron pot i'm adding a generous amount of cooking oil and when it's hot let's add in our paste let's cook this for about a minute or two until it's or you can smell the nice aroma coming out from the paste next to add is our seasonings now gently stir in just enough to blend to our paste adding next is our meat so gently stir in and make sure that all the chunks are well coated with the nice flavor of aroma coming from the paste so let's cook this about two minutes until our meat will turn into light brown in color 
Now it's time to add in my coconut milk. So I'll give a quick stir in order to catch those spices alongside of the, of the pot and then it will settle down and the meat can absorb this nice flavor. Then let's add in my chili water that I used in soaking my dried chili. So this is about 50 ml. Then adding next is our kerosic or the toasted coconut. Then our palm sugar as well as our candle nuts. Then next to add is our tamarind juice. And to season our rendang, let's add in fish sauce. This will add saltiness and a pinch of umami flavor to the dish when it's cooked. Now that everything is inside the pot, let's cover and simmer for about two and a half to three hours in a lowest heat. This is now our beef rendang after braising for three hours in a lowest heat. And you see, most of the liquid has been evaporated and the meat turns into dark brown and it's so tender, becoming caramelized that infused with rich flavor. So, it's time to dish our beef rendang guys and let's dig in. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy this video episode guys. See you next time and God bless us all.